Someone once said the NHS is the closest thing we have to our own religion. If so, this is our new regular act of worship. Up and down the land, thanks and praise for carers of all kinds and the key workers keeping the country on its feet. Even the poorly Prime Minister briefly emerged from isolation to applaud the workers his government is accused of failing to properly protect with enough equipment or available tests. OK, thanks, NHS, thank you. Thank you, thanks all. How could this drive through centre stand empty yesterday when doctors and nurses want to know if they can get back to work? And we're all wondering just how widespread the virus really is. It's a trial, the government says, which will soon be fully operational. We want more testing. I mean, of course, I understand why people want the certainty that you get from, from having a test. So we're ramping up testing. We've hit the goal of having 10,000 tests a day by the end of March. And today I've set the goal of 100,000 tests a day by the end of this month. Note the language. It's a goal, not a target. The government admits our testing lags behind some other countries. So the plan now is to build up capacity by involving more companies and university labs. Here, NHS staff queued to find out if they're safe to go back to the front line. This is horrible and I, and I can only apologise for it. This is the antigen test, showing whether you currently have the virus and may spread it. Then this is an antibody test, which shows if you've had it, maybe without realising, and could now have immunity. The government ordered millions of these and wants millions more, but their reliability isn't guaranteed, and a bad test is deemed worse than no test. This is definitely a step in the right direction. Experts welcome the increase, but say more is still needed. Testing is not a magic bullet that will kill the epidemic. Um, it's got to be seen as part of a multifaceted strategy. And currently there's a lot of emphasis on testing for the purpose of helping health workers get back into the NHS, helping with population surveillance. But what's missing is the a third um, aspect of testing, which is its use to try and minimise and stop community transmission. There were another 569 deaths across the UK, which means the total is now close to 3,000. As more people suffer, here's the extra capacity. London's Nightingale Hospital, ready to open after being fitted out in just nine days. There are 500 beds here, with 3,500 more to follow. A hint of how much worse things might get. Dan Johnson, BBC News.